This video is all about organizing your course notes. As we go through the semester, I have instructed you all to continue to add week after week after week of course notes to the same file. Now, I totally understand that means you're going to have, at the end of this, one enormous file. So this video is all about showing you how to organize both the source, that is the RMD file itself, and the outputted HTML file so that you don't have to continuously scroll through an incredibly long file. There are ways to organize both of these such that you can have very neat and tidy and concise sections and find just what you're looking for. So I've created this template uh, course notes file just so we can see the um, structure that I'm encouraging to use to create uh, neat and tidy course notes. Um, but obviously, in week one, you're going to have more than just more words. And in week two, you're going to have more than just stuff. And in week three, you're going to have more than stats stuff. But I think this will be sufficient to give you the idea of what's going on. So our first lesson is look at these little arrows. If you haven't seen these little arrows next to your headers yet, then I encourage you just to play around with them because they collapse the content in between um, for whatever header level you're at, they collapse the content up to the next header of that same uh, number of hashtags. So you can see just by toggling this one, we can open up week one's content, but not week two or week three. And the same thing with week two or week three, just by clicking these little arrows, and you can see how they turn based on whether or not that section is um, displaying the content within it or not. Beyond that, though, you can add like extra subheaders. So now notice this is three hashtags here. You could do Monday had stuff, Wednesday had um, more stuff, and Friday just office hours. So you'll notice that even subheaders now within the content of week two, which you can collapse just as we did before, you can now collapse at the subheader level. So in fact, creating these subsections is your first strategy for keeping your course notes organized. This is the tool I recommend you use to help keep the input the RMD file, the R Markdown file itself, well organized and neat and tidy. Okay, here comes the second tool I'm encouraging in this video, which is how to keep your output neat and tidy. So at this point, I'm assuming you all have your weeks or whatever your um, headers are for your own personal organization at two hashtags. So that's like a sub header relative to a header with only one hashtag. So I'm just going to put course notes um, from math 350. And maybe you want to add spring 2021 with Edward or something like that. Whatever your, oh look, course notes shows up here already. So I'll just keep it at math 350. Whatever your header is at hashtag level one, if you add this crazy bit of syntax, it goes left curly brace, and you'll get a right one by default, which is good because you need a left and right uh, basically anytime you create a left. Period, tab set. If you add this with a space after whatever header you have at the hashtag level one, and all of your uh, next content sections are exactly one hashtag more than this one above, watch what happens on the knitted output. You now get this interactive section showing up in your outputted HTML file. Because this is in fact truly a HTML file, a web page, 
you get this kind of dynamic interaction with these tabbed sections. It turns out to be totally cool. And this way, you can keep the output document organized and clean and neat and tidy. Now, uh, some people have already asked about this in office hours, which is awesome, mainly because they're um, getting a little bit, let's say, excited in their organization schemes here. So one great question that I didn't even know the answer to until office hours of last week was this. You can actually use multiple of these tab set comments. So now notice I'm using this one on week two, such that it will create tabs for everything exactly one hashtag level below two, because that's where the tab set's at. The tab set is at hashtag level two. So when it's here, it'll create new tabs for everything exactly one uh, hashtag level below two. So that is three. Let's click knit and see what that gives us. So week one has no sub tabs because only week two has sub tabs. And week three does not because we didn't specify that. But in week two, now there's sub tabs for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you want subsections within that that don't show up in tabs, just go to fourth. Um, I don't know what you might use here, but I'm just, you know, making it up as I go. We'll click knit. And indeed, now week two on Monday has section headers within its Monday tab. I didn't add anything for Wednesday. No section headers for Wednesday. So it shows up as appropriate. So I hope with this, you will have two great tools to keeping your course notes organized, neat and tidy throughout the semester. Um, use these section headers to your advantage so you can collapse content and then use these tabs uh, appropriately as you want for your own preferred style.